just before this video begins, um, I just want to say don't forget to follow my Twitch and don't forget to follow all my social medias. And I always stream at 7 p.m. CST, Monday through Fridays. Hopefully, I just started college, so hopefully this won't be outdated. But yeah, all right, okay, enjoy the video. Bye bye. So, this is my next target, huh? <laughs> She's quite the looker, if this picture is anything to go by. And according to the information I was given, she's the only daughter of that CEO in charge of one of the biggest companies in the country. Interesting. Well, if her dad is really that famous, no doubt plenty of people will know who his daughter is. She probably won't be easy to get to. Least of all, to get alone. Well... It doesn't matter. All I need to do is come up with the perfect plan, and this job will go down without a hitch. <laughs> I almost feel bad for the girl. She doesn't even know she's already dead. Good evening, miss. It's a pleasure to meet you. As of today, I will be acting as your new bodyguard from now on. I look forward to working with you. And just like that, my trap is set. All it took was a few well-planned accidents here and there near the big guy's precious daughter. And he couldn't hire a bodyguard fast enough, so with my skills, it was obvious I'd be picked for this position. Oh, you don't have to worry about me, miss. I may not know the whole layout of this place, but my job is simply to be by your side and protect you. I'm sure I'll become familiar to this place sooner or later. <laughs> oh, little does she know. I already know this place at the back of my hand. And I've learned the schedule of every maid and butler that works in the place. With so many people working here, it will be some time before I can actually get rid of her. Though, killing her isn't the problem. I could have done that any time in the past two weeks. The problem is framing it in a way that my client wants. They demand that I kill her in a way that I will damage her father's reputation the most. <laughs> Typical rich folk. Always making things complicated. Either way, I can make it look like her father hired someone to do it, or maybe even pin it on some, someone from a rival company. Hmm? Oh. Did you say something, miss? Oh, you want to go to the library? Then, by all means, lead the way. Whatever the case, it's for the best that I keep up this bodyguard act as long as I possibly can. And the more I learn, the faster I can get this job done. Wow. This is quite the collection, miss. I see. So, your father collected all of these. It's actually pretty impressive. Not surprised. Such a fancy house would have this big of a library. So, do you know what you're looking for, miss? The book you want is up there? Well, I would gladly be willing to get that book for you instead. Very well. Just try and be careful. The fact that she actually needs a ladder to reach some type of book in here says a lot about her father. If they aren't for him, he must be the type to push a lot of expectations on their kid. That or he wants his bowl her rotten. Hey, watch out! Jeez! I told you! Be careful! While you're up there! If I didn't catch you, you could have easily fallen on your head! You don't have to apologize, just try not to do that again. Please, just stand here and I'll get you the book that you wanted. <sighs> the first day and I already had to save her from something? <laughs> now that I think about it, there is a chance she's rather clumsy. That would explain why she's always had several of her maids or butlers whenever she's out in public. Well, it shouldn't matter. I'm more than...
than capable of protecting her from tripping or falling. But hopefully something like that won't happen too much. <laughs> ah, 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 miss, I know you like going out on your balcony, but could you please not lean forward so much? This is the second time you've almost fallen off this week off this same damn ledge. Whew. What is wrong with this girl? Causing a fire in the kitchen? Getting buried underneath books? Nearly falling down the stairs? And all within a week? She's so clumsy and helpless. She'll get herself killed before even I even get the chance. <sighs> I told you before, you don't have to thank me. I'm just doing my job. I've been so busy protecting her, I barely had any time to figure out the best way to kill her. This job is proving to be more trouble than it's worth. What? Huh? Oh, of course. We can head back inside if that's what you want. And as usual, if she's not busy, she comes here to the living room. As annoying as it is being in such an open part of the house, at least having her sit down and watch something keeps her from causing some kind of trouble. Though, I will admit, it's rather funny how she always chooses to watch some kind of older sitcom or anime. She practically zones out of the moment the first episode begins. She's far too defenseless. Hmm? Um, did you need anything, miss? Wait. Oh, wh what? Come again? You want me to uh, just sit besides you? Um, miss, with all due respect, I'm just your bodyguard. It wouldn't be very professional for me to sit down and rest, especially right next to you. Well, if you insist. Okay, seriously, what am I doing? I should just be playing the role I've been given until I can finish my job. Not playing house like this, but this girl. Hmm, um, miss, uh, um, what are you doing? Miss? Oh, don't tell me. Did you actually fall asleep? That quickly? And on my shoulder of all places? <sighs> when it comes to this girl, I really shouldn't be surprised anymore. She looks so peaceful, so cute. No, stop it. Thinking like that won't get me anywhere, all right? <sighs> to think she actually feels safe enough to fall asleep right next to me. She really is too clueless for her own good. That and she's too trusting. And too kind. I actually don't think she's ever stopped smiling since the day I got here. I was never given a deadline, and there's still a lot I need to learn about her father and his business. So, I can keep playing this role for a little longer. Besides, if I don't keep her safe, she may get herself killed by her clumsiness. I won't let that happen. Because killing her is my job. And thank you to my channel members. Riverwood. Alila D.E. Sin. And Astrid Lemser. I hope I pronounced that name right. Uh, please, please don't pitchfork me. Okay. And anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.